choose you. We we all call like just wearing a shirt, no no undergarments, Winnie the Poohing it. Is mm. just wearing a scarf, no other clothes, Mister Tumnusing it. Yeah. Yes. Putting his whole tumnusing in it. Tumnusing. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Where does the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe fit in the constant rebootification, Netflixification of all of our fantasy series, right? Well, it's Ben, like... I've, got exciting, I've got exciting news for you. Netflix is, in fact, remaking uh, the Chronicles of Narnia movies. Uh, and you will never guess who's behind the camera on this one. Coming down off of... Behind uh, the camera. You know, Best Picture nomination billions of dollars floating down to the director's chair is one Greta Gerwig oh. uh, hot off of Barbie she's making the new Chronicles of Narnia movies for Netflix interesting that could be good huh because the movies were so bad yeah they were really bad I'm picturing the lion is like anthropomorphized so it's just like mm -hmm. absolutely oh, sexy. stacked yeah he's furry he's a furry oh, now. yeah he is just <laughs> nice Tony the tiger let's go yeah yeah, Tony, t Tony the Tiger. But more must because Tony the Tiger, we agree, is like kind of dad bod ripped, right? Like, True. That's the vibe from Tony the Tiger. He's not just like okay. fucking steroids ripped. And Aslan should be in the ripped. credit of way. <laughs> he didn't get the name Aslan for nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to be able to see like veins through his fur. That's like how, like his skin is stretched to the point where you think like it's going to tear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining a shot for shot remake of like the the one the movies that came out in mm -hmm. ju not just 15 years ago but it's just ripped Aslan uh, yeah. instead of the normal <laughs> lion lion one. yeah it, we, what what it, it, do, do we think we update uh the like uh, Turkish delight as the thing that you betray your family for is it like now like it's a vape a, a mobile phone is perhaps? it still going to take place when it takes place? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I have I, All I can tell you is Greta Gerwig is doing it and they're being made for Netflix. Those are the only two gotcha. pieces of information I have for you. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted Turkish Delight so bad when I read those books. <laughs> they're not so great. Bad. They were not as good as, like, s talk about a guy who could make a food-related podcast. C.S. Lewis can fucking sell, <laughs> sell me, like, dog shit on a platter and I would want to eat that. <laughs> Well, I, w I will want to point out that uh, in the context of the story, uh, the uh, family is running away from a war-torn uh, <laughs> London, and they have probably been rationing food for many months, uh, and perhaps a Turkish delight would be the most delicious thing in the world in that context. True. In Edwin's defense. Yes. <laughs> war. <laughs> and so if they modernize it, what are they get Are they getting away from uh, World War Three? Yeah, Vietnam. the nukes have gone off. <laughs> <laughs> That's like why Aslan's so ripped. 